Hey there and welcome back to NBA 2K18's My League Mode. My name is Pete and today we complete the Summer League with our expansion team, the Louisville Legionnaires. Now a quick bit of information right at the beginning here. I will be on holiday next week and so that week will not have an upload in the series. I didn't really find the time to pre-record this week, so we'll simply take a one-week break and then we'll continue as usual. For those of you who also follow the South Park playthrough, the same thing is true for that series as well. No new videos next week and we'll pick things back up again starting on the 20th of November. Now with that out of the way, let's have a look at the current situation for the Legion S. We have successfully completed both the draft and free agency and we're now ready to begin the Summer League. Luckily, our current roster already has 11 players on it that we can still use in Summer League, so we only need to add two more to complete the 13-man Summer League roster. And our main focus here will be on wing players, as apart from Abrinus and Kuzma, all of our other guys are no longer eligible to play in the Summer League. So let's quickly add those two to the roster. At the shooting guard, we will add Bryn Forbes, a sharpshooter, and that is pretty much all he is. While at the small forward, we go a bit more defensive-minded. And we add Jeremy Grant as a versatile defender who can play both the small forward and the power forward positions. And with that, we have our Summer League roster assembled. And our first game will be on the second day of Summer League at home against the Brooklyn Nets. And this one a true nail-biter, but in the end we come away with a small two-point victory. And by the way, no, I don't want to play any of these games. That privilege is reserved for the season opener. The performance of the night here likely belongs to Yogi Ferrell with 14 points and 8 assists, who didn't actually score much from the field, but put up 12 points from the free throw line. Rookie Mohamed Bamba a bit disappointing in this one. He played only 15 minutes and those were good enough to score two points and grab four rebounds. Both of those points, however, were scored on free throws as Bamba sadly missed all six of his attempts from the field. Our second game then two days later against the Memphis Grizzlies and once again we get away with a narrow two-point victory. And also once again Yogi Ferrell with a convincing performance, almost getting the double-double here with 16 points and nine assists. The third game of the 2K Summer League then on the very next day and we play in Toronto, where we demolish the Raptors 103-76. Grant, Hernan Gomez and Farrell all with solid performances in this one, and Mohamed Bamba with 9 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists and 2 steals in only 16 minutes, also putting up a nice stat line here. And after winning all three games in the 2K Summer League, we now make it to Championship Day, competing against the equally unbeaten Chicago Bulls for the 2K Summer League Championship. And we rally in the second half to overcome a first half deficit, and in the end we win the game by 10 points, 90 to 80. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, the Louisville Legionnaires have won the 2K Summer League Championship. And the performance of the night goes once again to Yogi Ferrell, who led the team in scoring with 16 points to go along with 4 rebounds and 2 assists. So in my opinion, after those 4 games, re-signing him already was more than worth it. Ferrell here in large parts responsible for our success in the Summer League, also once again emphasizing his claim for the starting point guard job in Louisville. What follows is then the NBA Summer League Tournament round. However, since we took part in the 2K Summer League, we are not included. In the end, the Sacramento Kings beat the Cleveland Cavaliers in the championship game. And so Sacramento becomes the NBA Summer League champion, while we are the 2K Summer League champion. Now it's time for the All-Star City selection. And the choice this year falls on Los Angeles, California. Now, in the real-life NBA, LA is already set to host the All-Star Game in 2018, but I don't know whether or not that was implemented in 2K as well, so uh, we'll just leave it in LA for 2019, but we'll make sure to move it somewhere else next year. And now, one more very, very important thing, next year's draft class. And this time, I decided not to go with one of the realistic draft classes, because quite frankly, a lot can change until the 2019 draft, and the best we have available at this point are rough projections. Instead, I went with a completely fictional draft class, however, one that is, as far as I know, using real cyber faces for the players. I will show you that draft class a bit more in detail in one of the later episodes, but from what I've seen so far, it has a lot more visual variety in the player faces, and when it comes to player ratings and positional variety, it's also right up my alley, with no one rated way too high and all positions featured in the top 10. Like I said, we'll have a closer look at the draft class in one of the later episodes. For now, we can let the top prospects compete against each other in the 2K Hoops Summit, where Team USA beats Team World 103-80. And the top performers of this game, probably those players we should keep an eye on. For Team USA, for example, Nick George, a shooting guard from Georgetown, who led his team in scoring with 19 points together with Chris Delk, a small forward from Maryland. 
Also, Josh Mitchell, a center from UNLV with a convincing double-double here, 18 points and 14 rebounds to go along with 3 blocks. But this player right here, George McLeod, despite his rather unspectacular performance, he is also a guy that we shouldn't forget about, as all available mock drafts currently have the Kentucky point guard ranked number 1. On the side of Team World, we have point guard Jeremy Marinson from Australia, who led his team in scoring with 16 points to go along with 5 assists and 3 steals. The rest of the guys on that team, however, not that spectacular. And with the 2K Hoop Summit completed, we now move on to training camps. And this is always the part of the offseason where I think you have to resist temptation a bit. And of course, I'm talking about the untapped potential training camp. That training camp can easily be misused to turn pretty much any player into a star. Simply send one of your guys, ideally a rookie, to that camp two or three seasons in a row, and every year his potential rating will increase by three points. And especially with young players, that can be used to turn a role player into a borderline all-star. For that reason, I have created some rules here. First of all, I won't limit myself from using untapped potential. I think it's a nice tool to use, especially on players who constantly overperform compared to their ratings. However, there are a few things I won't allow myself in this playthrough. First of all, no untapped potential for rookies or players who haven't played a single minute in the NBA yet. This is one of the easiest ways to exploit the camp and therefore gets immediately eliminated. Another rule is don't use untapped potential on the same players in consecutive seasons. This is one of the other ways to turn role players into superstars, and it doesn't really fit with my playstyle. So if we decide to send someone to the camp this year, that player won't be eligible to be sent there next year. And rule number three is to use it only on players who have, at least in my opinion, somewhat overperformed. This is of course a bit subjective, but for example it eliminates players like Joe Chi who have played this year, but who didn't really stand out. In short, use it on players who play better than their ratings suggest, to get their performances more in line with their overall rating. And if we look at the roster here, I think there are two players who have overperformed last season, and the first one is, and I think you will agree with that, Josh Richardson. Especially in the second half of the season, Richardson completely took over the role of primary scorer on the team, and more often than not he delivered, and in the end he ended up as our team's best scorer. And for that performance over the last year, the 25-year-old gets a small 3-point potential increase, getting his potential up from 78 to 81. There is also one more player on the team who I think played a lot better than his rating would suggest, and that player is power forward Bryce Johnson. Johnson repeatedly was our best player coming off the bench, and pretty much for the entire season he challenged Juan Hernan Gomez for the starting job. Per 36 minutes, Johnson actually ended up being our best scorer, so he also gets the small 3-point potential rating increase, raising his potential from 77 to 80. The last training camp, however, will now be a different one, as we will use perimeter shooting here. This will, as the name already gives away, increase a player's shooting abilities, and we're going to use that on Kyle Kuzma. Kuzma already has a respectable shot, but it's nothing deadly yet, and this training camp will be a first small step to change that. Kuzma's size and athleticism is something that already serves him quite well, but I think if he can improve his shooting ability, he will be able to take a huge leap forward. So let's send Kyle Kuzma to the perimeter shooting camp. This will increase his contested off-dribble and open shot for both mid-range and three-pointers, and will hopefully make him an even deadlier weapon offensively. And with that, the off-season is now finally completed. In the next episode, we will then advance to the next season, but for today, we'll make the cut here. Keep in mind, you will have to wait a bit for the next episode, but I promise it will be worth it. As always, if you liked this episode, then leave a thumbs up. If you want to support the channel and stay up to date, then feel free to subscribe. And of course, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!